Alrighty, so I'm out here obviously at a lake, um, just backpacked in, and I thought it'd be a good time to talk about these. Now these are the La Sportiva Equilibrium ST. Um, the Equilibrium release, I think in 2020, it was kind of La Sportiva's headlining boot for that year. Um, it was La Sportiva's pretty much first endeavor into this sort of like hybridization of boot, but that's actually not true because I think the first one was the Trango Tech. Yeah, I think the Trango Tech was the first one. But anyways, what really kind of pushed these boots apart was that they have a rear crampon bail. So these are these are compatible with uh, semi-automatic crampons. So if you have like summertime mountaineering objectives that just deal with a little bit of snow, these are really great boots. Um, they also highlight them as like trekking boots. And that's primarily where I've used them for, is trekking. Don't mind me, there's just another pine cone. Um, I've used these for trekking. I've done some backpacking trips in these. And they've been real comfort to have. Um, I think the first trip I actually really did in these, I put, it was like a 40 mile round trip into the, like into the back country. And I didn't even take time to prepare these boots. I didn't even break them in. I just did the whole 40 mile trip and came out and I didn't even have a single blister. I was really happy with these. Um, and there's a couple of features that made them so comfortable. A big thing with these is, I mean, as you can kind of tell, they look high tech and they kind of really are. Um, they have this new technology with Vibram. Yeah, with Vibram. And it basically, they put like some sort of like foam and cushion within the lugs. Now, like traditional boots, you have your, your bottom tread and then like a foam midsole, and then like a carbon shank or something like that. And then you have your uppers. Whereas this one is all kind of like this all-in-one built-in sole package unit. Um, La Sportiva kind of developed this technology and it's pretty unique towards La Sportiva. It's got like a hard like TPU shell almost going all the way from the rear crampon bill all the way from the toe cap. But it's all like one piece into the whole lugs. And that's a really unique design. It means that there's a lot less, I can think gluing involved and a lot, lot less layering, but like I said, like there's cushioning within the lugs and I was really surprised on that initial 40 mile backpacking trip. Like my feet weren't even fatigued. They just felt great. And going over rocky terrain, it was awesome to have that. The other thing that they kind of have too, dealing with the lugs again, is that they have this kind of cut off heel. And what that is, is it so allows you to get, it allows like the boot to go within like a natural gait. So if you go, if you normally have like a big pack on or you're trekking, like you normally go heel first. And normally you do that, it goes heel first, but it naturally rocks your foot to give you more propulsion to go forward. And these are a really walkable boot. And I know with a lot of times like trekking boots, they'll be like, these are trekking boots and they're good for uneven terrain. And sometimes when you get like a boot like that, you're kind of surprised on how like, how soft it is, but like how, yeah, yeah with how soft it is and I guess when you have those like softer boots, it's it's a it makes it so walking comfort on basic terrain is easy, is nice and easy. Whereas these, because they actually have that cut towards the heel, that makes the walkability great, but also benefits because these things are super stiff. Um, it, it makes total sense now why there is a rear crampon bail because these will totally work with crampons. Because there are a couple of boots out there, even from Scarpa too. I just have the rear crampon bail, but they're like four foot is a little bit like it's more maneuver or not maneuverable, but like a malleable, I guess. Um, and that kind of like makes things weird when you have a crampon sometimes with the amount of how stiff these are. I would be tempted to try ice climbing in these just to see if they could handle it because I think they would. Um, they're just a great boot overall for that matter. There's just a lot of tech in here. Um, there's a couple of key features that I really liked. Um, for me personally, I kind of have lower of a uh, lower volume foot and you can kind of see with these that it's very low volume in the toes. Kind of, It kind of mimics a lot of La Sportiva's approach shoes in that matter. Um, it's also super, not super wide, but pretty wide in the toe box. I have lots of room. I can put on thick socks and it doesn't really matter. 
it just it fits my foot so well. It's narrow in the heel. It's got a gusseted tongue, so you won't get any debris in your shoe. And then uh, when talking about the inner of the shoe too, there is a Gore-Tex Performance liner. And I was kind of hesitant on Gore-Tex liners within shoes because my past experience with sh shoes that have Gore-Tex liners are your feet just get sweaty and I was kind of worried about that and haven't had really bad sweaty feet but uh this liner actually works really well um get on that first initial breaking of the boots with a 40 mile uh trip we had we got rained on for we got rained on a lot of the days and mine were like the last boots to finally soak in that they were kind of damp in in the boot but like they had been through hiking through vegetation that was just all wet and going through rainstorms and they handled that for about and stream crossings like they handled that for like I think three or four days and then it was only like on like the fourth end of the fourth day where they got a little damp so the liner the Gore-Tex performance liner in these works really well um the other fact too that uh, that's a feature that works really well is the uh the outsole compound I'm not too sure, but I think it is the Vibramont uh, compound. And this is like, this is the compound that they use in all their mountaineering boots, which makes sense because the equilibrium is kind of that like hybridization of a mountaineering boot and like a trekking boot. Works really well, but you get a really bomber um, sole package. Just the rubber in it, it's super durable. I put a lot of miles on these and they don't really look like they've been worn that much. Um, I'm really surprised. They do also kind of have a talking about this they do also kind of have a weird heel pattern it's kind of a big gap and i thought i'd get a lot of rocks in there i don't get a lot of rocks i mean that pine cone was in there so you might get pine cones stuck in there but it actually clears a lot of the debris really well and it gives you a good amount of like traction when you're going over i don't know loose terrain or something like that they're by far my favorite boots that i've ever had um i've had a, a couple of pairs of backpacking boots and stuff like that before i've had zamberland boots and they're all right um definitely really like these they just have a lot of cool features they're well worth it and you know you can find something within that you, you can find it whatever you need with the equilibrium you can kind of just get what you need um they make a, this shoe in a leather version um they also make it in a gaitered version where it's got like a full kind of i think it's like a probably half zip gator it's got a bow dial for its tightening system um so yeah they have a leather version they have a synthetic version and they have another synthetic version that has a built-in gator that one's more i think more going towards the um more at mountaineering aspect of the equilibrium line but both the leather version and the synthetic version are fully capable um, the synthetic uppers on these have actually really, they've worn really well. At first I was kind of hesitant with synthetic boots because I know synthetic boots where your toes are kind of going up and they pinch the fabric. Synthetic, synthetic boots and synthetic shoes for that matter, they have a tendency to wear out on the edges really quick. And when I, I was kind of hesitant to get synthetic boots at first, but then once I got them, I mean, this is the same it's the same material that's on any other mountaineering boots, whether it be like the G5 or the G2. It's just very bomber, very bomber uppers. They're not going to rip or do anything with regular use. You'll have to really beat them through to get any sign of wear. They're just a great shoe from Sortiva. One of my favorite shoes, and I'm actually pretty excited here um, pretty soon is that the G Tech will be coming out and that is using the same last as the equilibrium so if you're like me and you've got a low volume foot and kind of a wide foot you just like that extra toe room the equilibrium is one of the best boots for you and uh yeah that's all I have um hope you guys enjoyed the video uh keep on the lookout for more reviews